The only other explanation that I have is this is the OG Chi Chi. She decides that she's going to go dark and evil and pulls an Anakin and a Khaleesi on us and abandons her life to go with Goku Black. But that's probably the most unpopular opinion. Know your place, worm. Prepare yourself. Don't forget to join our perfect world and become part of our team by hitting that subscribe button and of course turning on that bell notification so you never miss an episode. I want to go ahead and give a huge shout out to CL Dark Rose and Koi McLeod. Those are the two voice actors that play Chi Chi Black and Goku Black in the reaction video that I showed yesterday in the origin of Chi Chi Black. I'm going to leave a link to their YouTube channels in the description below. Go ahead and hit them up, check out their content, and if you like, of course, subscribe. And if you have not seen the video, The Origin of Chi Chi Black, I urge you to do so because in that video, I go over the origins of one of the most enigmatic characters that is fan-made in Dragon Ball. Okay, now I can tell you the true identity of Chi Chi Black. So yesterday, not only did I have the pleasure of talking to CL and Koi on Twitter, on the actual video that I put up, I had the honor of talking to the Gokuist, the creator of Chi Chi Black. And they shed some important information about Chi Chi Black, about the origins, and exactly who created her. So the concept of Chi Chi Black was created by the Gokuist, but there was also another creator involved, and that is Blau Vixen or Bazoo. They are the other artists that I actually use images from in my last video showing their art that portrays Chi Chi Black in an incredibly unique style. And actually there is a whole Chi Chi Black Tumblr that gives credit to both the Gokuist and Blau Vixen. So are you guys ready for the true identity of Chi Chi Black? Well, it all started at the beginning of the Goku Black arc where all of us, if you were around back then, this is by far one of my favorite times in Dragon Ball, in Dragon Ball Super, the mystery of who Goku Black was. I was extremely excited to find out, but there was so many theories and a lot of the more popular ones was that Goku Black was Goten or that he had been a Goku in some sort of timeline that had been corrupted somehow. Those are probably the two most infamous ones and it looks like the Gokuist took the second one and just ran with it because they liked the concept of an evil Goku being corrupted so much that they ran with this idea. So the whole premise of this is that Goku Black is not Zamazu. Goku Black is just an evil corrupted Goku. So what happens is that Goku Black travels to Future Trunks' timeline and tries to convince the Chi Chi that's still alive there to join him in his evil plan. Now, this Chi Chi is completely jaded, she's completely hardened from the years of the androids torment and the fact that she blames humanity because they created the androids for the loss of her son and so she decides that fate has given her her husband once more so she goes along with him and joins him on his crusade against mortals. So originally the concept that they came up with is that the earrings that Goku Black wears he gave one of them to Chi Chi and instead of fusing them together actually gave Chi Chi basically the same powers that Goku Black has. Flight, enhanced physical ability, energy blasts, but since Chi Chi is a martial artist through and through she prefers to fight with hand to hand combat. So I guarantee you that the next time you look at Chi Chi you'll never look at her the same way again. This is going to be Blackscape signing off. Take care guys.